Welcome back. So now we know how smoke detectors actually sense the smoke, but we haven't talked about how they're actually connected to the panel. In the first few videos, I started drawing some circles connected to a conventional fire alarm panel connected to one of the zones, and initially I was calling them smoke detectors, but then I changed that to heat detectors, and then I, I made some squares that were pulse stations, and I showed the little switches that would close when they went into alarm. And like I said then, that was fairly accurate for a pole station, fairly accurate for a heat detector, but I got away from using smoke detectors because it's not really, it's not really how smoke detectors work. They still are connected to the zone the same way the other devices are, but when they go into alarm, when two wire smoke detectors go into alarm, they don't, they're not, they don't directly short out the panel. First of all, let's just draw this circuit. So I have four conventional smoke detectors, four conventional two-wire smoke detectors. So I'm going to start with the negative. I'm going to go into the smoke detector and out. And they're called two-wire. You know there's there's going to be four wires connected to it once I'm done. Um, that's only because it's going out to the next device. So the last device only has two. If there were only one, it would only have two wires going to it. So let's draw the positive side. Positive to positive and positive out to the next one out to the next one, into the next one, out of that one, into the next one. Okay, so now we have four smoke detectors hooked up, but our zone would be in trouble, right? Because we know if this is a conventional fire alarm panel, it needs to see an end-line resistor at the end of the circuit. So on the last terminal, we'll draw our end-line resistor. Okay, so let's say that one of these went into alarm. Let's say it was a photoelectric smoke detector and internally the little photo cell detected the light source because the light was refracting off of the smoke waves like we talked about in the last video and one of these goes into alarm. Well it's not exactly a dead short that happens here but it starts to draw more current when one of these goes up. Two wire conventional smoke detectors draw very little current when they're in their standby state when they're not in alarm. So let's say this panel had if you were to meter zone one here right right here at the um, positive negative, you put your meter leads on there, you'd normally have 24 volts. Well, if this zone were to go into alarm, if any one of these were to go into alarm and you were to meter it again, most panels, you would you, it would drop to about 5 volts. And the reason is there's not, there's not that much power available on, on these zones. There's, um, they're just designed to sense an increase in current, which a short would give you, right? If this were a dead short, if it were a heat detector, there'd be little, very little resistance and so the current would increase. Well, similarly, if we think about Ohm's law, if one of these starts to draw more power, if, it's, if, it, if it becomes a bigger load, the current's going to increase as well. So the current would increase if one of these went into alarm. Um, and that increase in current is what puts the panel into alarm. So again, it's not a dead short, but it, it, it draws a, a, a bigger load and it's enough to put the panel into alarm. So on a two wire smoke detector, the zone is what powers the detector and what detects the alarm. Um, the limitation of these is that, of these two wire smoke detectors, is that if I were, let's say, right now we have four detectors on this circuit. Let's say we had 10 on this zone. We had 10 of these green circles. If I had two of these in alarm, three of these in alarm, four of these in alarm, it might be okay, but I couldn't get all 10 of these smoke detectors in alarm. There's just not enough power available on this zone to power up that many detectors when they're in alarm. And in most circumstances that's not a problem. Let's say all 10 of these are in the same wing of a school, like, like in our first example. It was a very small school. It had a, what did it have, an east wing, a center wing, and a west wing, or whatever it was. Let's say all these were down one hallway in the east wing. Well, if one of them went off, it would serve its purpose, right? I mean, it would, it would close the fire doors, it would sound the horns, it would call the fire department, they'd show up, they'd see it. Zone 1 was labeled west wing, so they'd know to go to the west wing. And even if, if one of them were an alarm, or if, or if all ten of them were an alarm, they, they would be taken to the correct place and everything would be fine. But there are certain applications where you would need to know each one of these that was an alarm. And, like, let's say there were ten smoke detectors on a, on a zone, you would need to know each one of them that's an alarm. And a good example of that would be if these were in a nursing home. Sometimes in patient rooms in a nursing home, the smoke detectors have relays on them which would 
shut the door to their room so the doors held open just like in our examples before and it would release an alarm on that just on that particular smoke detector alarm and a little firelight outside in the hallway would light up to let the nurses or whoever know this is where this is the room that's an alarm and if there were a fire in a wing you'd want to know each and every room whose smoke detector went off right you need to go in there and get those patients out first but if you had 10 of those rooms on one conventional zone you couldn't do that on a two wire system there wouldn't be enough power so that's one of the limitations of this system and I think I'm gonna leave this off there because I'm gonna get into four wire smoke detectors in the next video but just as a, as a quick kind of re uh, review I guess you could say um, these two wire smoke detectors are very straightforward they're just like heat detectors or just like pole stations you could mix you could put heat detectors on this zone you could put pole stations on this zone but when those go into alarm that's going to be a dead short when a smoke detector goes into alarm like I said it's not exactly a dead short it just increases the current through that device and that's what puts this panel in alarm so in the next video we're gonna go over four wire smoke detectors and I'll see you in the next video